So if I want to use my own uh, term base and check up uh, my own uh, terms in uh, any CAD tool whatsoever, then what I can do, I can do, I can uh, uh, go for instance to the Smart CAD tool, and as you can see here, I have some text in German, and if I want to check some term to know how to translate it, so I can just select it and then I press Ctrl plus Alt plus K like this. And as you can see, this will search for this term in my term base. As you can see, this term has this translation here. Uh, we can try another one. So for instance, this Eigenschaften. And again, I just select it. And if I want to know what's the translation in the term base, I just select it and press Ctrl plus Alt plus K like this. And as you can see, it will uh, find all all the items that contain this word Eigenschaften. As you can see, this will be this will be looked up in my terminology as well as in my translation memories, in my uh, machine translation providers, and uh, also in my connected online dictionary, which which we have uh, here. But this video is about uh, terms. So uh, this term search will actually work uh, anywhere in any CAD tool possible. I'm just showing you SmartCAD because with SmartCAD it's a little bit pain to add your own term base. But this will also work, for instance, in Trado Studio, which we have uh, right here. So as you can see, we could um, actually search for something. I don't know, maybe again this Einstellen. So you just uh, select it. And you press Ctrl plus Alt plus K, and as you can see, it will again search in uh, my term base. So this is a very comfortable and uh, neat way of how to look up for your terms. And now I'm going to show you how to actually create, how to quickly create, create your own term base. So this is very easy. Uh, you can use actually two ways of doing it. You can either do it completely manually by uh, creating a, um, a tab delimited file, which you can create, uh, it's a text file, so we just uh, create a new text file. For instance, let's uh, name it glossary, uh, new, and you open it. And uh, now you could uh, just start adding your terms. So I don't know, let's uh, choose some really, really silly terms, so I don't know, uh, maybe we can use German again, so Auto will be Auto in Czech as well, so Zug in Czech will be Vlak, and uh, vielleicht uh, Fahrrad uh, will be Kolo in Czech, so you can just save it, and well, there is one more, there's one important thing, you need to, you need to delimit all these two columns, these two columns, so you need to delimit them with your tab. So you, instead of writing spaces, you need to press your tab, tab key, which is uh, this key right uh, here. So this is how you actually delimit your columns. Then you can just save it. So I don't know, maybe pressing Ctrl plus S, you save it. And then you go to Bohemicus. And uh, we can create a new term base by pressing uh, this icon here, new, yes. And then you simply drag and drop your new, newly created glossary onto Bohemicus. So let's drag and drop it. And as you can see, it will ask you if you want to import new terms, yes. And it will just uh, import them. So as you can see, there are actually four columns available. You can also add some description. You just double click it and you can add some, I don't know, description, whatever you want. Uh, the same with uh, explanations, whatever you want. Uh, and uh, then you just uh, click on uh, save. And this will be saved into your database. And uh, now you can use this term, term base uh, as you want. So this is the first way of creating your glossary. And the, and the other one is to actually open it in your or create it in your Microsoft Excel or in some other spreadsheet uh, software. So I have already prepared something. So as you can see, this is the original German glossary. And uh, what is important when you're creating it using Excel is that you always choose two columns. You don't need to write any heading, just start 
directly with your terms. So as you can see in the left column we have the German source and in the right column we have a Czech translation. Uh, so you can create your term base here and then uh, if you want to actually use this term base in Bohemicus then what you need to do, you need to save it, but you need to save it to the so-called tab delimited file. So which you will find uh, here, this is a very old version of Microsoft Excel, but anyway this procedure will be very similar in newer versions as well. So you need to create other formats which we have here and then you need to choose this uh, uh, tab delimited file. It's a text file where the columns are delimited by tab strokes. So you need to use this tab delimited file, text tab delimited file. And uh, you can uh, give it a name and uh, you can click uh, save. So this will be saved and then again the procedure is pretty much the same. You just create new term base uh, by clicking this uh, icon. New. Yes. And then again, you can just uh, drag and drop it. So like this. Ah, yeah, sorry, it's still being used in Excel, so let's uh, close it. And uh, let's try again. Yes, and as you can see, here we have some progress. And as you can see, 375 uh, terms imported. And as you can see, you can see them all here. Then you can go to your back to your smart cat or to whatever cat tool you're using, and you can just uh, start uh, using it. And of course, now you have uh, certain options of how to work with your term base once it's one once it's in Bohemicus. So you can edit it. You just double click it, and you can write whatever you want. So I don't know some nonsense. Uh, you can edit all the columns, so you can edit the source text, which is here, as well as the target text. So you can add it. You can add something, or of course you can add also description and explanation. And then you can always click the save icon, or you can just close Bohemicus and it will be saved automatically. Um, then you can, uh, as I have already shown you, you can actually create a term base by drag and dropping uh, your text delimited file, tab delimited file onto Bohemicus, or you can click this icon open and uh, search for your uh, for your text delimited file, or you can click uh, this view all. This will uh, this will show you all all the terms that are currently present in your in your um, term base. This will add a new term. Uh, this will delete the selected uh, item, term or terms. You can select like this, you can select more of them and when you press this uh, cross icon it will be uh, deleted. Or you can also export your terms again to a tab delimited file by clicking this icon here. And uh, the last thing, the last very important thing is to how to dynamically add your terms. So when you see some term, I don't know, maybe in your uh, in your SmartCat. So let's go to SmartCat again. And uh, maybe you see this uh, term, capital. So you can just select it. And if you want to add this term to your term base, then what you can do you can select it and then you just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus T like this. And as you can see, this will open a new window. You can enter your translation. So this is Capitola in Czech. You can enter some description and also some uh, explanation. And you just click OK. And now when you go back to your turn base, uh, as you can see, this will be Added. So if we just show all terms, you can also look for it here. So let's um, look for it. And as you can see, it's been saved into our term base. So this is how you use a term base uh, with uh, Bohemicus. Um, uh, you can use this kind of uh, term base anywhere in any CAD tool or in any Windows application for that matter. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, very useful. And thank you for watching uh, this video and see you next time.